All right. Got the palm on to put in place in the ROM. Still got it hooked up to serial port. Got it hooked up to power supply. And on this one here, I, as I think I've already said in a previous video, I've got the RAM sitting under here hooked up in the upper 32K block in the upper 32K memory block and the lower 32K is going to be controlled by address decoder and palm on 2 usually is designed to use the external RAM as dual RAM and uh, program memory or changeable program memory but this board is not set up for that I could easily modify it by changing a couple traces to allow the external uh, RAM to be used as program ROM but I'd lose the external RAM functionality unless I added another chip then I could, it would do dual purpose as RAM and program memory I'd have to add another AND gate a couple AND gates on another AND chip or oh, it'd probably be easier just to throw in another external RAM right here and have one external RAM occupy the lower 32k address block and the existing RAM occupy the upper 32k address block and act as program memory while the next one would be acting as none the yeah, existing run act as uh, pro yeah as program memory and the next run act as data memory but I might get to that later but they don't really design this board for it so I'll take turn on the power and then go to the terminal and when you turn on the power palm on to waits for a carriage return to automatically set the uh, baud rate so I'll turn on power then go to the terminal alright we're at the terminal at carriage return and yep yeah, up comes Palmon 2 with the list of the programs available and if you go this function what that's basically showing there is the palm on to starting routine which is because I don't have the external RAM hooked up if I go to interactive editor then change control data then you actually see what's in the external RAM I can take and go to edit mode and fill first location 8000 hex last location FFFF with zeros and it's Build and if I go to eight zero 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 hex. Then you have the cleared memory, which I can go to ASCII edit and type in stuff that will be saved to external RAM uh, I'll do this this is a test of the emergency test system yep and 
if I go to another program or at memory location, control go to zero 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 zero, which is when uh, there's no memory devices there, so it all comes up zero. Then go back to location zero zero hex. What I typed in is still there, and control quit. Get out of that. The program's available. And memory editor and stuff. But the reason they show up twice is because when it goes past 8000 hex, then it reads the external RAM, not an external ROM again, so it's getting a mirror of them. 800 hex over the actual location so like 1000 hex then it shows up 900 hex then it continues on down the line but if I remapped the external RAM to fill the upper 32k of program memory then you wouldn't get that doubling RAM and as you can see the board is functioning and communicating now back to the board itself and you can see it's working and I've also got communications now so whatever else I want to do with it I could add the extra another external RAM and use a dedicated palm on to board or cook up some other RAM for it and start filling out the rest of the available space stuff but with something that's made out of pretty much a hundred percent savage parts it's coming along pretty good so that's it for the update Take care.